and YouTube. We're back on Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We are on the regular expressions course on challenge 15 of 33. So today we are going to find one or more criminals in a hunt. So this is an actual little challenge more than a lesson. So they're actually testing us and our knowledge on what we've just completed and done. So if you guys don't know how to do this one given the prompt, uh, I would recommend going back and reviewing the previous lessons because everything that you need to know on how to complete this, we just went over in any of the previous 15 lessons now. So this should be pretty straightforward, but memorizing this stuff is really not the goal. In time, as you use things more and more, you will memorize some of it, but looking for patterns and just kind of identifying patterns in the code is really more of the goal to learn programming because it's there's too much syntax to remember so it's more patterns so i remember general regex patterns and what a few of them do just based on their symbols so let's see if we can complete this so okay Okay, so we're going to write a greedy regex that finds one or more criminals within a group of people. A criminal is represented by the, le the capital letter C. Now, all this criminal talk and people talk is just a lot of verbiage used to confuse you. What the goal is here is for you to have to pick through the prompt in terms of people, criminals, and humans and convert that to strings, letters, and code. So they're really just trying to throw you off by using the people example, but all they're asking is to match all capital letter C's within a string. So evidently there's a quite a few tests that get ran here, but all we want to do is capture C, this capital letter C for criminal. So you can see the string C returns one C, two C's has two C's, three C's has three. Well, okay, so we only want to grab capitals. I can see now that there is a lowercase, but we only grab the capitals, okay? So criminals represented by capital letter C, okay? So really to capture all the capital letter C's, if that's what we're trying to do, I would say, well, in my regex, in my, my opening, closing, forward slashes, I'm looking for capital letter C. Am I looking for just one capital letter C? Or am I looking for all of them? Well, I think I'm looking for all of them. And I want all of them that appear consecutively. So those that appear right next to each other, I want to grab them in a pair, in the pairs that they're in, and also grab any independent ones. So there's a little hint right there. It matches any Z that appears one or more times in a row. So I want every C that appears one or more times in a row. So let's grab capital C's with the plus sign. So any of them that appear once or more in a row. And also we want to grab all instances of C's. So in this, okay, there's not, I don't think there's gonna be a good example here. Uh, but in any, any case, if there are different groupings of capital C's, I want to grab all of them. So let's see if this actually works. Okay, that's that worked. That's all they wanted. Wow. Okay, so that makes sense. I'm grabbing all capital C's, and if there's more of them in a sequence, as in directly next to each other, grab all of those as well. What I was thinking what we were going to have to add is the G flag for global. So we grabbed... Oops. G. So we grabbed all instances of them. So not just the first few, but if there were more in the string, we would grab those as well. So let's see if this... Okay, so it likes both of them. Well, technically, this G does change the behavior. If I didn't have the G here, and there were more Cs in the string, I would only get the first grouping of them, not all groupings. So the G for global will give me all the different instances of matches. Uh, in this example, apparently it doesn't matter, but generally good to know. So apparently that's all we need to do, C plus within our expression. And that makes sense, which is the important part. It, it, I understand why that works. And that should be the important part for you too, because I know that the plus sign matches any following 
of the same character. So if it comes after a Z, it's matching all Zs that are consecutive. So I hope that helped, hope that made sense. If it did not, please check out the last couple lessons I've done uh, on regex on my channel. And hopefully this will clarify a lot of things and make a lot more sense. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, please subscribe. Uh, if you leave a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.